Hi everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy from Hartsville, South Carolina. And today I'm back at Stokes Quarry, located on the southern edge of Darlington, South Carolina. I mentioned in my last video that some very important fossils had been unearthed here. And they range in age from just a few million years old to over 75 million years old. Now here's an interesting fossil here. This is a Gibbs clam. And what's interesting about it is this hole. This is not a normal part of the shell. This was put there by a predator. And here's another. This is a surf clam with the same type of hole in it. Let's look around and see if we can find the creature that made these holes. Okay, that didn't take long. This is the culprit right here. This is a moon snail. And this is a voracious predator. Inside its mouth, it's equipped with an organ called a radula. It would use that radula to bore holes in the clam, like this hole here. Once the hole was complete, the moon snail would insert its proboscis and begin to slowly devour the animal inside. Modern moon snails devour four or five clams a day using this method. And this moon snail, living millions of years ago, would have done the same. This moon snail was a serious predator, but if we go back even further, about 75 million years ago, there was a predator here that was much scarier. This is the Appalachiosaurus, and it's in the same family as the Tyrannosaurus rex. Although not nearly as large as the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Appalachiosaurus was still a fierce predator. This dinosaur would have been about 23 feet long. It had a powerful body and razor sharp teeth. Now these are a couple of its teeth right here. I found the smaller one with the broken tip right here where I'm standing. And the larger one I found on that hill just over there. Now these are replicas. The original teeth from which these were cast are now in the Charleston Museum. Now these are very good cast and they show the sharp edge and fine serrations that were on the original teeth. The skeletal remains for the Appalachiosaurus that have been found so far are incomplete. So we have to speculate a bit about things like its vision and its sense of smell. But it seems reasonable that like other members of its family would have had very good vision 
and a highly developed sense of smell. This animal would have been hunting in the forest that covered this area 75 million years ago and looking for large prey. The Ornithomimus from my last video would have very likely been on the menu.